Hello guys, this is Amos Stole Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Dynamite by Teo Cruz. So here we go, give you a preview of the two sections you're going to learn. It's the main two sections that goes like this. A repeated section. And then the other section. All right, let's get right into it. So melody and block chords, that's the foundation. And then, yeah, afterwards you can add your own improvisations and decorations to give your own personal flair to it. All right, so let's start with the first section. So right hand starts on the G sharp up here, middle C, go up and off to C, up to the G sharp. All right, so it goes four G sharps, one, two, three, four, F sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, down to B, C sharp. That's it for the first part, for the first section. All right, so we'll break this section up into two parts. It's easier to learn. Let's do it again. It goes four G sharps, F sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, down to B, C sharp. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have four very important chords in this lesson. These four chords are like the same four chords that is played in every single part in every section of this lesson. So master these four chords and it will save you a lot of time. All right, so C sharp minor, which is C sharp, B, G sharp. Second chord is B major, which is B, G sharp, F sharp. Third chord is E major, which is E, G sharp, B. And fourth chord is A major, which is A, C sharp, E. So with these four chords in mind, so C sharp minor, B major, E major, and A major, Two hands together, it goes like this. So C sharp minor starts off, right continues. Third G sharp, B major together. G sharp and chord together. C sharp and A major together. That's it for the first part, all right? Let's do it again. It goes here, yeah. together, together, together. All right, moving on to the second part, right continues. It goes E, F sharp, E, C sharp, E, F sharp, E, C sharp. That's it for the second part for the right hand. All right, let's do it again. It goes E, F sharp, E, C sharp. E, F sharp, E, C sharp. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, same four chords again, as I said. That's why it's so important to learn those chords. So C sharp minor, B major, E major, A major. There's always these four chords in this particular order throughout the whole lesson. All right, two hands together. It goes like this for the second part of this first section. So right hand starts. E and C sharp minor together. C sharp and B major together. E and E major together. C sharp and A major together. All right, let's do this again. So it goes together, 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 together. And that's it for the first section. So you play this section for two times. So let's just repeat it and just recap it back to back so you know what it is. So it goes. All right, now. Let's go ahead and move on to the second section, okay? So the second section is really simple. So it goes E, 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 Okay, so that's the first part of the second section. Once again, we'll break it up to two parts. It's easier to learn. So this first part of the second section is simple. It's literally 10 E's in a row. So it just goes five E's, one, two, three, four, five, and another five, one, two, three, four, five. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, as I said, same four chords again, so you know C sharp minor, B major, E major, and A major, that you know very well from this whole lesson, okay? So, two hands together goes like this, so right hand starts with the first two E's, third E and C sharp minor together, together, with the fifth E, and then now do the same pattern, but with the different chords, together, together, like that. There you go, that's the first part. One more time goes, together, together, together. Check it out. All right, so that is the first part. Okay, one more time. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Now moving on, the second part goes E E E E D sharp, E F sharp, G sharp down to B C sharp. That's it for the second part. One more time, it goes E E E E D sharp, E F sharp, G sharp down to B C sharp. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, same four chords again that you know of. Two hands together for this part goes like this. So right hand starts. Third E and C sharp minor together. The D sharp and B major together. G sharp and E major together. C sharp and A major together. Like that. One more time. It goes together, 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 together. 
And there you go. Alright, so back to back, this section two, let's play like this. And you play this section up two times, repeat. And there you go. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's two sections you have to get, and each section is played two times each. And yeah, so once you get the melody and chords all good, you can start to add your own improvisations. So you can do more like octave and like jumpy, like um, I guess rhythmic patterns and arpeggios. So you can do something like this. And right hand, you can also harmonize the bass on the chords to make it thicker and texture and more epic. So you can do something like. around and have fun like it okay so yeah that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed this lesson if you want to learn more catchy songs like these just search up your favorite song name followed by amos doll and you can find all those other lessons to learn for yourself but as for now that's pretty much it for today's lesson if you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime and cartoon theme songs and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.